Today, I'd like to offer a simple but important message. Sexual abuse is personal injury. Sexual abuse is personal injury. As a culture, we're used to seeing sexual abuse talked about on the news, and we've come to expect abusers to lose their jobs or even go to prison. But do we understand that sexual abuse is also considered a personal injury under civil law? Let's put it in context. In the United States, we have two sets of laws that govern our world, criminal law and civil law. Criminal law focuses on punishing the wrongdoer. Civil law focuses on compensating the victim. Criminal law can send a perpetrator to jail, whereas civil law can pay the survivor to help compensate, at least in some way, for what they've lost. One type of case is brought by a state prosecutor. The other is brought by the victim's lawyer, by an attorney that they have hired. Two different sets of laws, two different goals, two different possible outcomes, two different prosecuting attorneys. We all know that sexual abuse is a criminal offense. My message today is that it is also a civil offense. Sexual abuse is personal injury. Now, when you hear the term personal injury, what do you think of? Maybe the first thing that comes to mind is a broken bone or a neck injury from a car crash, and that's definitely true. But what about trauma that's not so obvious? If you know someone who has suffered sexual abuse, you know how it can linger like an invisible wound. The effects of sexual abuse can stick around for years as a silent hurt, a whisper of sadness, shame, and anxiety. It can result in lost relationships, lost jobs, lost opportunities, and a loss of hope. Just like a physical hurt, sexual abuse has the power to injure. Sexual abuse is personal injury. Now this is a hard topic, but I want it to be a message of empowerment. If the authorities aren't bringing charges against your abuser, you have the power to bring your own charges in a civil courtroom. Remember that there are two sets of laws at work here. Even if there's a criminal case pending, you can still bring a civil case too. Our law firm has represented over 100 sexual abuse survivors. If you need to consult an attorney with experience in this area, or just have your questions answered, we're here to help.